Hey guys, this is Bish Reviews, and today I'm here with another Disney Classic Storybook Review. And today I have Disney Fairies, Tinkerbell, and the Great Fairy Rescue. This is one of my favorite Tinkerbell movies that they have created. And yes, I'm really thankful for Disney for creating this kind of books that helps you relieve the movies. Anyways, let me begin with the review. On the top of the book, it has Disney Fairies, and I guess it is the Disney Fairies logo. And then it says Classic Storybook Collection. Then we have Disney Fairies, Tinkerbell, and the Great Fairy Rescue in gold colors. And there are sparkles everywhere. I think it's from Tinkerbell's wings. And there is Tinkerbell. And there's Silver Mist. There's Iridessa, uh, Rosetta, Fawn, and Vidya. The book is Lime Green. Or I don't know, it's Parrot Green. I don't exactly know the name of the colors. So, yeah. At the back of the book, it again says Disney Fairies Classic Storybook Collection, and there are all the informations, and it again says Disney Fairies, Disney's Tinkerbell, and the Great Fairy Rescue, and there are the barcode and all the... So let us open the book and get the better look of the book from the inside. So yeah, on the first page, it has the same exact uh, Disney characters that they have jotted in every Disney Classic Storybook. Have all the characters and it says Disney Classic Storybook Collection belongs to and there's no name. So yeah, here's Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. So we have Tinkerbell here and it says adapted by Lisa Marsoli, illustrated by the Disney Storybook Artist. And it's published by Paragon. Yes, these books are really, really interesting. Uh, if you want to read uh, the story, you can actually pause the video and do that. If I start reading it, this video might go like really hours and hours maybe. Curious little Tinkerbell. Mr. Twitches, Dr. Griffiths. Lizzie, there's Tinkerbell and Busy Video, Butterfly. I don't know, I'm sorry if I'm turning the pieces really fast. I just don't wanna want this video to go longer than like six to seven minutes. So twitches. Look at the horrified video. Yeah, well, I I am like not a big fan of this painted uh, illustration. I really wish like this these looked like the ones in the movies. But yeah, these are like fine. At least I have a Tinkerbell storybook. They're not having one. Yeah, and I also have a Tinkerbell and the Lost Treasure, and Tinkerbell and the Secrets of the Wings. I would review that book too. So here's Tinkerbell. I love this part. Rosetta, come grab my feet. I really love the dialogues and the characters in this movie. They are, have like unique personalities. And I really, really love how they, you know, talk and how they, you know, interpret things. Yeah, I love this part. I don't do mad. <laughs> Ironic, isn't it? She's like Garden Fairy and she doesn't do mud. Poor little butterfly. I'm turning pages too quick, I think. Mm -hmm. Poor little Lizzie. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. So Lizzie's flying. Mr. Twitches. What cat? That cat. I really wish these books were a bit more thicker and had all the illustration, all the pictures. I really wish that. Tinkerbell gets really, really red when she's angry.
for a little video. <clears throat> Now they are on for another quick fairy rescue. <laughs> so yes, this is the scene where she flies. <laughs> Look at them in the pockets. Hmm, this is one spectacular view. I think about trying so hard to do rescue video. Liz's father is shocked. Okay, there's a friend's gathering. I really, really love this movie. Mm -hmm. So we end Tinkerbell Truce with a cup of coffee. Sorry, tea. And there is Tinkerbell and all the fairies and Lizzie and her father. So that's it. That's for the storybook. So this is my Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue classic storybook. I hope you guys enjoyed it and like the video. Please do like and subscribe and please do let me what you think about this book in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching.